so I have everything laid out that I'm gonna go step by step just telling you guys what you need to make your delicious blueberry muffins or any type of fruit muffins so first you're going to be needing the most important group you can do um, the almond flour or coconut flour depending on if you are allergic to almonds I feel like almond flour is the best so you can get from this guy right here I keep it in a tub just to keep it fresh and we're also going to be needing I we put our um, erythral sugar and then this is a different type of stevia we don't have the liquid drops and personally I don't like the liquid drops I rather do the powder form so I have those two then back here I have my berries I have an actual one that's full of blueberries and these are the variety ones if you want to use blackberries raspberries in those you can go ahead and get this one and this one as well depending on what you want what type of muffins you're going to be making I'm also going to try to put pecans these guys you know a couple of them so you can also opt instead of using blueberries you can add some either some different type of nuts in there right here we have our baking powder vanilla extract I have the Mexican vanilla bean it's the same thing it's just a Mexican style two large eggs right here it's almond milk the unsweetened kind so make sure you get the unsweetened kind there is one that says sweetened so you need the unsweetened kind and a butter I have the this kind of butter sorry and for our tools I'm going to be using one cup um, glass measuring cup and also a two cup glass measuring cup then I do have a whisk a spoon and then my measuring um, these are going to one teaspoon one what is this one four teaspoon I have a one half teaspoon one teaspoon and then this is a tablespoon this is pretty much what we're gonna be using a lot and of course I have a bowl a nice big mixing bowl right here and I have my layout of these guys as well all right so now I'm gonna get one cup of almond flour in here next is the baking powder so we're going to be using my green measuring tool two teaspoons so not the tablespoon but two teaspoons so this one right here now it's time to melt the butter and it's actually calling for one fourth cup of the melted butter so I grab the spoon so I'm gonna put this in the microwave for about 30 seconds so I put it for 30 seconds. There were some, there's some lumps in here, so I'm just going to stir that in with a mixture. Go at eye level, and yeah, I actually got it right. So that's one fourth. One fourth is about right here. So one fourth cup of butter. Now for the almond milk, we need two tablespoons. Two. Now we can put in our two eggs. Now, in the larger cup, we are going to be using our erythritol, and we need one half cup. So now one fourth in. Now in the recipe, it says 20 drops of a liquid stevia. I have the powder form. I'm actually going to do one tablespoon of it, and then add that in there. And of course, we're going to be doing one teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, and now it's time for us to mix this all together. All right, so obviously we're going to be baking and we're going to set this at 350. All right, so now I have these guys ready and I'm going to be using just a spatula. I think I'm going to do the bigger ones first. Um, I'm just really just going to go in and add them. I will be doing the blueberries last. Thank <laughs> you. 